Never a dull moment with the Orange River quartzes. Now this interesting material uh, hails from a deposit uh, south, well, is it southwest of uh, the famous deposit Rimfas mark for the uh, the apple green fluoride crystals which often appear to be uh, pyramids. Uh, we have this little hamlet of Freire Falay. I think it may just be a farm or, or may just be a, uh, a church um, sitting in between pretty much nowhere and quartz formation. I don't think we can actually find it on the map. Quartz formation here, rather interesting. And the, the grayness, blackness on the, in the core of this uh, uh, contacted crystal would uh, lead to hematite. The underlying color is a mixture of almost a yellowish, perhaps a very fine layer of chalcedony. And of course, uh, the, the coloration of the quartzes would lead me to believe uh, chloride would be a good guesstimate. Mind you, there are some epidote deposits in the Northern Cape as well. So perhaps epidote and chloride uh, uh, represented in minor minor quantities. From a display point of view, I enjoy this angle where you have the prominent crystals on top. Of course, the various colors. You have almost a yellowishness, white, uh, almost a blue-green going across like this. Another aspect, of course, you could take it over like this and focus maybe on this on this section where it's uh, smaller crystals, little vugs running through there. Uh, so on the turntable you'd have this effect. So let's just say we've got this piece up, we go across like that. And this would all be from the general Orange River region, Northern Cape of South Africa. There you can actually see what's happening inside the crystal. A little bit of grayishness pointing towards the, the hematite inclusion of course.